How to make and install a Canvas USB charger to your F800GS or of course any other Canvas, BMW or motorcycle. So I got myself a USB charger from the dealer. It's a simple one, one port. It comes with a fuse, but we are not going to use the fuse because we're going to install it on a Canvas system. Now the Canvas wire is on the right, it's the yellow one from the dealer. You can see the number on the bottom. What we're going to need, a soldering iron, some tin and some heat shrink and what I like to use is some tubing to put around the wires from the charger just to make it look more nice. Now the canvas wires are numbered 1, 2 and 3. Number 2 is absolute, you don't need it. So we're going to cut up the wires into half, just make it a bit shorter, we don't need everything. Now because number 2 is absolute, I'm just going to short it down also, just a little bit. You can cut it off completely but I just like to leave it there, why not, it's there so. Just cut it out a little bit. Now, uh, if you're going to connect it, you still got the wires 1 and 3 left. And now the number 1 wire of the canvas, the yellow number 1, that is for the negative wire of your charger. And then of course the number 3 wire from the canvas wire, the yellow one, is for your positive wire. So, just going to strip it down a bit to make the metal visible. Yep. Very nice. So both strip down, number 2 is a bit shorter in, that's it. Now let's get the USB wire out, mine comes installed with plugs for the battery, we're not going to use it because we're going to use the camera system and hooking it up to the battery will drain it. So just cut them off, snip snap, done. Now let's strip back the wires, because we both need to strip down, just pull it out a little bit, take the pliers out, just strip it down. Missed it again, yep. And the other one, both done. Very good. Now my next step, if you want to, I want to, but I'm just going to put some tubing over it just to make it look more nice. You can just skip the step if you don't have it, you can't get it, you don't want it. It works without it, it just looks more pleasing. So this is the charge done with the tubing around it. Now let's put some heat, heat shrink around the cable. The red one for the plus wire of course, and black for negative. You can use any color, but I like to keep it correct by using the right colors. Now I'm also going to add a little bit of bigger heat shrink, so we can shrink the cables together later on, so it's nice and tight, compact together. Yeah? So now it's time for soldering, just heat up the cable a little bit, the tip, a little bit of tin on it, and done. It's easy. And all for the four wires. Heat it up, a little bit of tin, just wait until it melts, let go, done. Same goes for the yellow wires, same trick. Now, I'm not a soldering expert or anything, it just works, it's not that hard. And this one is also done. Now, for the next step is to solder it together. Just lay it down together, you heat it up, a little bit of tin, just wait for it to melt, and done. That's it. Yeah. Now, for the next wire, next to each other. These are a bit off, I'm just going to correct it a bit with my finger. Let's see, it. push it together, look at it melting, let it set, all done. It's really easy, really is. Now for the heat shrinking. I, I like to use the flame to shrink it down, you can use anything. A paint stripper, uh, your soldering iron, I just like a flame, it's easy. Now I'm going to cover it with the blue one, just heat that up. Makes it nice and tight. As you can see on the right side, I also have some black heat shrink on the yellow wire, just to make the yellow go away. Just makes it a bit look more nice. Yeah. Shrink, 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 and done. And now we look at the end product. So this is the whole wire complete. Now to unscrew the motorcycle, the top cover. It's been holding down by six little screws. It's a Torque 25. Just unscrew all four of them on the top, and then when you're done, on the top end of the bike, below the steering wheel, are two more screws, one on the left and one on the right. Just be careful not to nick your fairing, because it's a bit tight to get it out. Now it's one side, and the other side is also done now. Very good. Now next part, to remove it. To remove it, you have to remove your saddle, so take your key, put it in the side lock, Unlock it and take off the saddle and lay it aside. 
Now for the top cover, you can just lift it up, but be careful because there's still a little wire attached to your cigarette charger on the top left corner, as you can see. Now it's holded down by a plug that is like a push in. So you just push in on the side and a little spring releases and you just pull it out. If you see it, it's real simple. Just click it out, done. Now lay the top cover aside so it can't damage. Now for the next step you got your canvas cables. Mine has two, one is already connected and the other one isn't. So you're going to use the one that's not connected of course. There's a little plug on the end, just unclip it, pull it off, done. Some bikes only have one, mine has two because I got the auxiliary lights on it. So use the free one, unplug it, get your canvas wire and just slide it over. It's just only one way to fit it in and just snap it into place. Slide and snap. Done. Now the next part is easy. You have to put the wire away somewhere where it's not in the way. I like to use a little space that's in front of the battery. Just gonna push the cable in a bit. I'm gonna get a zip tie and I'm gonna zip it on the bottom left co right corner where my finger is. Just zip tight so it doesn't vibrate and gone. It's that simple. You can put it any way you want, it's up to you. Now to put it back in, don't forget to plug back your cigarette charger, put the cover over the keyhole, slide it back carefully, put in the, all the screws. I like to leave the top ones a bit loose, I will fasten them later on, it's the final bit. Put the top ones in, don't forget them. Now let's for the test. Let's plug in the USB, it's already in the iPhone. So, USB goes in the charger, now let's start up the bike, let's put, turn the key, that's it, you see the charger coming on, iPhone jumping on, done, it has power. Now let's power the bike down, and let's see if canvas works. If everything is ok, it should shut down in 60 seconds by itself. Now I speeded this last bit a bit up, because I don't want to look at 60 seconds of nothing. So, just look at the time go, we're almost there. Now when the timer is done, you will see the iPhone screen pop on again without the charging symbol. That means it was disconnected from power. Like so. Yeah. So that means it works. Well, well done guys. That's how to build one in. Now for the final bit. I put my little charger on the left side of the window. You can put it any way you want. Uh, whatever you like. You can have a single one like me, a double one. You can have a steering wheel mounted. It's all up to you. Enjoy. Good luck.